Hey, this is Danny. I'm in CDAS right here, and I'm going to show you how to view color schemes and color bars for multiple images, which are open simultaneously. So here we have a level two file from Modus Aqua. Here are all the raster data in it with the products. And over here we have the KD490, its color scheme and the color bar associated with it. We have the chlorophyll, again its color scheme and color bar. We have the surface reflectance of the green band at 555 nanometers, its color bar, and we have the sea surface temperature. And we're viewing all the bands at once. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay, so we've got our level two aqua file here. Let's start with the KD490. Open it. It's got the default color scheme. Want to put a color bar to it. Go here. And what I want to do the first time through, I want five points. Click preview. See the five points. Now when I click OK, the points are on here. Now I can go to manually distributed points. And I can clean this up a little bit. Let's uh, make that 0.2, make that a 1.0, and let's make that a 6.0. Preview it again, looks a lot cleaner. And let's go ahead and create the layer. Click over here to view it all, up down here. We already have the name up here, so maybe we don't need this here. Click on the color bar, and let's turn off the title. Create layer, that fixed that. So now I have my KD490. Let's go ahead and open the chlorophyll. This Again, this is given the default color scheme over here. Let's go ahead and add a color bar to that. We're gonna turn off the title and let's preview it. Okay, we wanna clean that up a little bit. So we want to go to manual distributed points and let's go ahead and give that a point 0.1 there, point 0.5, make that a 2.0 and a 20.0. That should be fine. Preview. Okay. Create the layer. View all. There it is there. Let's go ahead and window tile horizontally. And let's um, synchronize the images and click all. So they move over. So we see our color bar for two of our images. And we can keep doing this. We can go ahead and get SST. Add a color bar to that. Turn off the title as we did before. Preview it. We will want to clean that up. Click manually distributed points, and we can go ahead with a zero on that. Go with a 10, 20, and 30, and 40 should be sufficient. Preview, okay. Create the layer. Window tile horizontally. Again, click all. And let's go ahead and do the surface reflectance for the green band. For this one, I'm going to set this at zero and one for the min and max and put it in log scale. Sorry, not zero, but point zero one log scale. Let's go ahead and put the color bar on that. Get rid of the title. Preview. That looks reasonable and create the layer. And now we'll do window tile horizontally. Click A for viewing them all. Now what we can do is we can hide this to get more real estate. Hide that. Hide this, this, and this, and we'll re-click on 
sorry, we go up here, tile horizontally. Now that it assumes we have all that real estate and we can click all to get these things bigger, more viewable. And that's pretty much what I showed you to begin with. Uh, you might want to make these bigger. If you decide to make the font bigger, you can go down here on the label size. You might want to uh, ramp it up. And maybe instead of having it 90% of the width, you could make it 100. And we just increase that. And we could do that to each of these. Do 60 and 100. And we'll do it to each, just to show you this display, like it had shown originally. 60 and 100. And there we have it. And we can add the uh, land mask, if you want, in, which I had showed earlier. So click on land, and let's color it black, and do the same here and the same there and it should close down that got opened somehow okay so now we're viewing all our bands we've got color bars and it's a really nice way to display your bands and of course you can in here you can view at the pixel level zoom in move around so for more information, please visit the CDAS website.